Hi, Leah. What's up? What's good, my fire sign, Leah? How y'all doing? Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Queen of Wands 1111. And thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. And for all my returning subscribers, Leo Gang Gang, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I appreciate all the love, all the support, all the purple hearts. Y'all been dropping in the comment section for me. All the shares, the likes, the subscribes. Thank y'all, Leo Gang Gang. I need more of my Leos up in here. I need more of my Leo gang gang up in here because we lit, okay? This is our year. We about to be lit, all right? <laughs> so, Leo, we're going to take a look at the person on you guys' mind and see their thoughts and feelings and what they're thinking towards you right now. So, you guys take the messages, how they may resonate and lead the rest. I'm also going to get your side of the story as well. This could also be vice versa. So, reverse the roles as you see fit. If you have Leo in your sun, moon, rise, and Venus, this may resonate with you. And if you are a cross watcher, hello, you're also welcome to join us in this reading, okay, and watch and listen and, you know, take a thing or two from this reading, okay? So, let's see what's going on here for my Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Oh my God, third party at the bottom of the deck, love triangle, something is interfering, competition. You feel like you've been sleeping with the enemy, Leo. This relationship was unrequited, one-sided, not enough love or attraction here. The feelings are not mutual, okay, between you and this person. And I feel like this person broke a lot of promises to you. This person had you in a third-party situation. You two, the relationship was unrequited. They misled you, broke the trust. They're unreliable. They had bad intentions, Leo, from the start. That's how you feel. They had bad intentions from the start. And I feel like they displayed a lot of red flags here. Lies. Secrets. You know what I'm saying? You're cutting this person out. Out, out, out. Yes. Cutting ties with them. You're in separation. You're leaving before it gets worse because, to be real, you don't see things getting any better between the two of you. So, Leos are cutting their losses. All right? And they want to reconcile with you, Leo. They want to come back together. They will return with some flowers or, you know, want to work things out. There's unfinished business. Be careful what you tell this person because they could be talking about you to a family member, a friend, or a third party. What's going on for Leo? What's going on? Messages for Leo's person on Leo's mind. Yep, there's a cut through. Emotional and mental clarity. Secrets come to light. Breakthrough. So you're going to find out exactly what's going on. All right. You're going to find out what this person's been saying about you. You may have children with this person. Children is involved here. They may try to use these children as a pawn to manipulate you to stay. All right. Divine intervention. I feel like you, some of y'all knew this was going to happen and others of you didn't. You didn't see it coming, but spirit has a plan. Believe in miracles. Trust the process. The angels are helping you, Leos. So this could be Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael. That is here helping you, okay? Yeah, y'all going through a dry spell. Some of y'all not having sex. Y'all practicing abstinence. Y'all not taking action in love. Some of y'all may feel like, you know what? I'm just going to be single for as long as I can. I'll go, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I feel like y'all was dealing with a runner. This person ran from the connection, ran from commitment. They was avoiding you, running from themselves, ignoring you. This person is a habitual ass liar. They're going to lie to you. They're going to try to run from their own lies and hide from their own lies. This person lies so much that they believe that it's true. But their lies are going to be exposed. And I feel like, Leos, you're paralyzed by love. You have a fear of falling in love with this person because you know that this person is a liar and a runner. You know this person is a liar. And you don't want to deal with somebody who's a pathological, habitual liar. You're going to get some sort of proof or confirmation. Because you've been searching for answers and I feel like you're going to get it. You could be doing some research online too. Or somebody's trying to look you up. Leo. Messages for Leo. Leo. Simon Rising. Cross Watchers. Leo. Leos. Some of y'all are very psychic, Leos. Some of y'all could be readers. 
or you just know the unknowable. This person's like, damn, how do Leos know this? How do Leos know this shit? You're exotic and mysterious. Some of y'all could be divorcing this person. You're terminating a marriage. You're taking this person for everything they freaking got for some of y'all. I see alimony. They know separation will be costly. So I'm seeing them spit out a couple hundred dollar dollar bills, y'all. Okay? Or if you're not married to them, this relationship just been complicated for a long, long time. They sacrificed you for love. They must give up something. And this person has to make a painful decision. They sacrificed you for what they thought was love. A third party. They may have gotten somebody pregnant. Or they want to get you pregnant real, real bad. Real bad. Mm. Why do they want to get Leo pregnant? Why does this person want to get y'all pregnant? Because they're acting on their lustful sexual desires for you. But I'm telling y'all, they're going to keep going through the same circles. Going through the same cycles. Going through the same shit with you. Repeating cycles. Not making no progress. Not learning no lessons here. They're going to keep doing the same shit. Being hot and cold. One minute they want you. The next minute they act like they don't. They send mixed signals. They're consistent. Then they're inconsistent. It's like you have a lack of clarity. This person friend zoned you. Yeah. This person friend zoned you. You feel like this person needs to grow up. <laughs> All right. They have options. Or this is you exploring other options. But you got a fear of choosing the wrong person. So you're using your discernment. Like, hmm, you're being real picky at this time, Leo. Some of y'all are and some of y'all just not. This person is in regret. Okay, this person may have had options here. Exploring other possibilities. But they feel guilty, remorseful. And they want to undo the damage. It says against time. Rushing before it's too late. Took a long time. Walking on thin ice. They know they're walking on thin ice with you. They know they're walking on thin ice with you. Because you're, you, you cut them off. And they feel like they may lose you forever. So they want to take it to the next level now. They may want to tell you, hey, I want to marry you. Let's get engaged. Let's take this relationship to the next level. You may not believe that because that may be something that they said in the past. And they broke promises here. So I don't know if you believe that story. But... You see, this person is full of shit. That's what I'm going to say. They full of shit. Sugar honey ice with no freaking tea. <laughs> they full of she. <laughs> All right. Messages for Leo. What does the universe want you guys to know for the person on you guys' mind? This person's a snake. They're a snake. It says deception, shady, temptation, enemy, home, music. This person may write music. They may want to write you a song, mystery, addiction. Ghosted. Fear. Reconciliation. Relationship. All right. Woo. This person is deceptive. They do some shady ass shit. They fall into temptation very easily. And you may have felt like you were sleeping with the enemy. Some of y'all live together. Or y'all talked about living together. Moving in together. You could be at home a lot. Spending time at home. This person caused an illusion and confusion in you guys' connection. They have some toxic attachments to people. They low vibe. They uh, have an addiction to drugs, alcohol, or they just obsessed with you. This person, I feel like they see you ghosting them. Or they ghosted you. Disappeared, silenced, ignored, rejected. Yeah. And now they have some fear. 
that you're going to be in another relationship. But you may ghost this person, Leo, because you're afraid of giving this person a second chance, getting back together with them, and being in a relationship with this person. Even though you have romantic feelings for this ex-lover, you don't want the unexpected to happen again. And what could this unexpected event be? Hidden meaning, vague, implicit, speculate, between the lines, divine timing, text message. Friends, some of y'all don't have many friends, some of y'all do. This person going to hit you up. They may write a song for you for some of you. This is going to resonate differently for everyone. They're strategizing this. But I feel like they took a risk in you guys' connection and did something. What did this person do? Online dating. Social media. Some sort of app. Yeah, they was online dating. Went on some sort of dating app. You may have met this person online. Yep. They was lying about some sort of social media dating app. Trying to conceal it. Trying to hide it. They had a hidden motive. They were lying to you. Oh, they had a hidden motive. They was going to break up with you. They was going to break up with you. Walk away. Ending separation is over. Why? To Leo's. Why was this person going to break up with Leo? Because of a third party. What? Oh my gosh. Interference, cheating, competition, mistress. They was planning on going on a date with this person. Meeting up with them, courting them. Wow. It may have been your anniversary when this happened. It's our anniversary. Like the first time y'all met. Wow. They felt like the grass was greener. So, let me get this straight, Leo. <laughs> you broke up with somebody that had intentions on breaking up with you. You broke up with them first before this even happened. Leo, your ass is good. Oh, you're good. Oh, you're good. You're good. Yep, that's the truth. <laughs> you're good, Leo. This may have happened already or it's getting ready to happen. This person changed you. Oh, shit. <laughs> they felt like you was jealous. Because they found a better option. Alright. You was unhappy. You deserve better than this person. The grass is greener on your side. And now they don't want to let your ass go. Oh. It's not over. They want to come back now. This person's got patterns with them. You've been going back and forth with this person. On and off. What you will not do is go back and forth with a motherfucker. And they got baggage they coming in with. This person got romantic feelings for you. Some of y'all could be divorcing this person. Or they got court issues here. This could be a judgment in a legal court case. Somebody here <laughs> got to go to court. But I feel like justice is being served in your favor. It's going to turn out in your favor. Whether this is a legal situation or not. Balance is being restored in you guys' energy here. Wow. This person could be realizing like, you know what? I'm falling in love with Leo now. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Leo. Storm warning. Obstacle. Wreck wrecking ball. Upheaval. Drama. Oh, they want to propose to you. They want to make you a love offer and be engaged to you. Yep, this is an ex-lover. They're reminiscing and thinking about the past memories. They feel like it was fated for y'all to meet. But they're going to have to give some shit up. They're going to have to surrender the shit that's toxic and, you know, in their life and the drama that they bring into you. You may have a family with them. <clears throat> You had a gut feeling about something. If you had a gut feeling there was a third party, you were right. You may have saw a reading that there was a third party. Or you may have did a reading on your ex-lover. If you pull your own cards, you could be a third reader yourself. What's these three? Your life path number could be three. They want to marry you. They're lusting for you. All right, this person got a lot of lust inside of them. They've been flirting with somebody here. They're receiving karma. You're healing from this, from this heartbreak. 
You're healing from the heartbreak they caused you. From the wounds, you're improving. There's progress. They hurt you, betrayed you, grief and disappointed you. You're going through a spiritual awakening, enlightenment, rebirth. You're learning life lessons from this situation. This person may tell you they had an epiphany because they realize you're their soulmate, twin flame. Y'all had a past life relationship. They didn't regret. They didn't regret, Leo. Wow. Leo is the bomb. Y'all good. This person had a third party. And they was going to leave you for the third party. But you left them before that could even happen. And now they want your ass back. Damn. <laughs> wow. All I can say is, wow. 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 That's all I can say. Like, Leo, y'all the bomb. Y'all is the bomb. Y'all like, hold up. Wait a minute. My intuition putting something in it. And you found out. You was like, wait a minute. Hold up. Or you getting ready to find out. And you like, you know what? I'm going to just cut you off right now. Something that they was planning to do to you. They was planning to leave you for this third party. And this person, you know they're going to lie about it, right? You know they're going to lie. You know they're going to lie. Look at this. Let's, let's take a look at this. They were strategizing to take this leap of faith. They was rolling the dice to take this leap of faith. Take a chance. With somebody they met online, somebody they've been spying on, spying on, somebody they've been dating online, somebody they've been trying to hide from you, conceal it, lying. They had motives to break up with you and walk away from you, and they're gonna lie about doing that for a third party and take them out and court them and date them. For some of y'all, they was already in a relationship with this third party. That's why you can't trust this mother. You may have a snake as a pet in your crib. You know, but they was planning on doing this to you. They was planning on it. I bet you money they was planning on it. Y'all, they was planning on leaving you for a third party that they met online, that they had romantic feelings for. They didn't want to let this third party go. That's why they was so quick to try to strategize and plan and take a risk on leaving you for this third party. But because you left them before they could leave you, now they want to come their ass back. And I don't know if that third party situation worked out. We're going to find out in the tarot. It may not have worked out. That's why they want to bring their ass back. Leo. Oh. I'm sorry, but y'all is good. God is good all the time. You dodged a bullet. For real. Because this person was going to plan on hurting you more. They didn't care about your damn feelings. They didn't care. They was having their fun with this third party. And they felt like they was meant to be with this third party. Like, yeah, I'm going to go be with them and leave you out in the cold. Wow. For some of y'all, they did do that. But for others of you, y'all the bomb. Y'all didn't even, they didn't even get a chance to leave for this third party. Because you already cut them off before they could even do that. And they wondering like, how did this happen? Damn, Leo. Y'all is the bomb dot motherfucker. Come. We Leos is the bomb. That's why we the king of the jungle. Y'all can't fuck with us. <laughs> What's our niggas want? What y'all niggas want? Let's see. The person on you guys' is mind. Leo, let's get some messages from the universe. This person fell from grace, y'all. They got a bad reputation. They're not good. They're not doing good in their work, career, in their life. Oh boy. You're not giving them the attention you once gave them. You're not paying this person no damn mind. And I feel like you saw a future with them. 
You know what I'm saying? Y'all planned on getting married or y'all already married and had a family together. You saw this person as uh, emotional fulfillment. You wanted a higher level of commitment with this person. Leo. Could be a, a Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or another Leo. Leo. Whoever they was in a relationship with, block them. They got fucking blocked. And I feel like it's still love there between the two of y'all, but you ignoring this person. Or you block their ass too. This person was indecisive. They didn't know how to make a choice between two. They was torn between you and another person. Yeah, three of cups. So I feel like they was closed off and blocked off to you. Refusing to see and acknowledge something here. They was going to close out a cycle with you. They was going to end things with you. But you ended things with their ass. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or another Leo. Yep, you're rejecting them now. You distance yourself from this person. You like, don't come near me. Don't touch me. Don't call me. Don't text me. I'm blocking you. It's over. You're rejecting their offer. They, they were trying to make you a love offer, but you you bored with this offer. you like, I don't want that shit. This is a missed opportunity. And the third party closed the cycle out with them too and blocked their ass. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Oh, wow. They was going to commit and give a high level of commitment to somebody else that they was in a relationship with. But that shit didn't work out, did it? <laughs> oh my God. With the justice in the reverse, that shit didn't work out at all. So now they're bored, unhappy, dissatisfied. Because the shit didn't work out between them and the other person. No, they're not happy at all. This person is overindulging in alcohol, drugs. You feel smug by them. It's like some of y'all, they got bad hygiene. They don't, they not happy because this shit didn't work out. They could have been self-pleasuring themselves to this person. I'm sorry. I wanted to have sex with this person with the nine of cups in reverse. Self-pleasure is upright. They wanted to have sex with them. This reading may trigger y'all. Don't be triggered. Okay, please. Don't be triggered by this reading. Please, y'all. But this person is receiving karma. And that's why they're not happy. I feel like this person is going to be unhappy because their wish was not fulfilled with somebody here. Yeah. I feel like both of y'all turned y'all back on this person to explore, to expand, and see what else is out there. <laughs> and if they got legal situations uh, or legal issue going on here, that ain't going to work either. It could be a Libra. This shit funny as hell. Yeah, look. There's somebody here that's jealous of you. That's talking shit about you. They hating on you. This person, this queen of uh, swords is another woman that turned their back on your person. Your person could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius that was talking shit about you. That was being mean and rude towards you. Or they feel like you being mean and rude towards them. This is a, 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 a hating ass bitch here. Somebody gossiping about you. Somebody can't stand your ass. And it could be this air sign here that you turn your back on. This person is at a distance from you. And I feel like they've been waiting for their ships to come in. And they didn't come in. So now they mad at your ass. They are so mad at your ass. Because the queen of swords in the reverse is another woman. This could be a man. But I feel like there was another woman here, y'all. I'm going to keep a G. 
All right. There was another woman here. They not innocent. I'm not that innocent. Oh, baby, baby. Now they want to be loyal to you. Now they want to be stable. Now they want to help you. Now they want to support you and invest in you. But it's over. It's too late. You're done with this person because they betrayed you too many times. They stabbed you in the back too many times. And you're not dealing with that shit. You're stepping into your confidence. You, you, you're taking your power back. You're getting your eyebrows done. Your hair done. Your nails done. Your lashes done. You're looking good. You're smelling good. You're sexy. And you're standing your power. And I feel like you're being protected. This person finds you very attractive. But you're leaving them hanging. You're leaving them on red just like they did to you. They found somebody attractive. They left you hanging. Left this connection on hold. Left you on hold. And I feel like um, you're sacrificing this person. You're giving this person up. You're surrendering. And I feel like you're seeing this person from a different light. You're making the right decision. The grass is greener for you on your side. You could be dealing with somebody that's in two minds or two worlds or was indecisive between two. They was hiding this from you with the high priestess. They was keeping this a secret. They didn't want you to know. But I feel like you already knew what was up. Your intuition was telling you or you was getting readings on this person. This person could be getting readings on you. The initials could be B or J. They don't want to let you go. Huh? They feel like you're not going to go. And they could continue to be a player. Fickle with their energy in and out. Doing what the hell they want to do. If you don't leave, they're going to continue this player energy. Yeah. This person is controlling. This could be an Aries here. I just feel like you're not opening up to this person. You're not letting this person in. You're standing your ground here. You're bossing up. You're taking control of a situation that has lost all control. This could be like a father figure to your children or your baby daddy. They want a second chance because the shit that they was investing into did not work. They may see you as an asset here. This person may have to go to court and they could be keeping that from you, keeping some information from you about court. They could be trying to penny pinch and save up all of their money here so they could get to court. All right. But they want a second chance with you. And I feel like this person is under judgment. Yeah, they want to manifest you back into their life. They could be sending you some um some energy, like doing spells on you to stop you from leaving. I feel like you're leaving anyway with the six of swords. Yep, eight of wands. You leaving fast. You out of there like the pew, like the roll runner. You're going to a place of peace and calm of waters. And this person, I feel like they're gonna text you, sending you long paragraphs of messages here. They want to travel towards you. I feel like this person was trying to manifest going towards somebody to be intimate with them. And they was having passionate messages on the phone back and forth. This could have been online. This could have been um, on Messenger, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, I feel like y'all was throwing fiery dots out of one another. You learned some karmic lessons dealing with this person. Yep, and I feel like um, there's a change happening in your energy. Unexpected shift. Mm-hmm. You you just wanted this person to change. That's it. Could be Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. You just wanted this person to change. But I feel like the tables is turning on this person and the tables is turning in your favor. Your spirit guide, your angels, and your ancestors got your back. Archangel Michael is here as well. What's this person's intentions towards my Leo? They was going to leave you out in the cold. They emotionally available, emotionally aloof. This person is a con artist. They're going to come back with some fake ass apology. This is not sincere. With the Knight of Cups in reverse, this is a fake ass apology. And you're holding back. It's a fake ass apology. You're very strong. You have courage. You're brave. This person don't know how to stand up for themselves. They don't have no boundaries. This could be an Aquarius or another fire sign like you. They don't stand up for their damn self. Nope. This person was going to friend zone you. This person... Mm, with the Page of Pentacles... 
to be honest, this was stagnant. There was a lack of commitment between the two of you. This person um, may still not make you an offer here. The offer you want. They don't have deep feelings for you like they... Like you felt like they did. Or this is you. You don't have deep feelings for them. You're holding back and you're holding your feelings back too. This person is not ready for commitment with the uh, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. They're not ready for commitment. This person is a karmic. You had just suspicions about this person. This person is easily distracted. Bored. Insecure. They could be stalling you. Misleading you. Trying to buy time. Delaying things. You're not willing to give to this. You're not wanting to talk to their ass. Period. Yep. Somebody from your past is coming back. They're reminiscing about you. They're missing you. They're thinking about you. But who gives a fuck? Because you're walking away from this person anyway. You're walking away. And somebody new will come towards you. Somebody that's in love with you. Somebody you're going to have a lot of sex with. Somebody that's going to support you and be there for you. This person got something to say to you. They're going to make a hasty, bold move to come towards you. But it may result in a heated discussion or some sort of an argument. You're getting over this heartbreak, this pain, this separation. You don't give a fuck. Yeah, this person is going through a tower moment, a shakeup, a breakup, a divorce happened. And they smiling on you, got their eye on you. You're happy, Leo. You're happy. I feel like you don't you throwing yourself into your work, focusing on your money, mastering your craft, perfecting your skills here. You could be self-employed or working for a place remotely. Leo. What's the outcome for Leo and this person on Leo's mind? They can be alone, but they want your ass. They're codependent. They're not independent. They're not a self-made millionaire. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You're not going to be single for long. Somebody about to take you off the damn market, Leo. I feel like you're no longer bruised or wounded by this person. But they want you to drop your guard. But this person is reckless. They're in and out fickle with their energy. They're a player. They're hot and cold. They don't know what they want. This person's showing their ass. They feel lost, distracted, frustrated, angry. They lack self-control here. Yeah, this, they kept a lot of secrets from you. Kept you in the dark. Kept you a secret. And all you did was be stable, loyal, and dedicated to this person. You were in your feelings trying not to be too emotional. But I feel like you in your bag. Yep. You got land in your name. Or could be a grant stocks, bonds coming in. Could be an inheritance too. You're manifesting financial opportunities here. You may have some sort of ideas. I see growth. I see um, bonuses coming in. You could be getting a new car. You could be moving. There's some sort of a payout coming in for you, Leo. And you're going to keep that a secret. I feel like you ain't telling nobody shit. All right. You may have done some moon magic to get this money. All right. But spirit doesn't want you to know too much about this money that's coming in for you or how you're going to get it. But I feel like... You've been loyal and dedicated to this person, Leo. And now they're thinking about the time that y'all invested into each other. And they don't want to give this up. But at the same time, like I said, you're closing this cycle out. All right. And let me tell you another thing that I'm seeing. The world is nudes. Could be somebody pregnant too. Right? So somebody been sending them pussy pics. And with the ace of wands, they've been sending somebody dick pics. Nudes. I'm telling you, this 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 reading gonna trigger some of y'all, but please don't get mad at me, please. I'm only telling y'all what I see. I'm only telling y'all what I know. And if you know this person, you know this is how they are, cause they probably sent some nudes to you when y'all first met. Like, look at how big my dick is, or look how tight my pussy is. They've been sending nudes to this person, and this person was sending nudes to them. But I feel like you're not giving them that attention that they once was getting from you. You're giving up, to be honest. They want you to drop your guard. They don't want you to have this wall up. They want to break this wall down. But you're giving up. Yep.
this person still has hope and faith that you two can heal things, mend things, work things out. If y'all was uh, engaged, you called an engagement off. With the page of pentacles in the reverse. You called it off. You was like, I don't want to be engaged to you no more. Take your ring back. Some of y'all kept that damn ring. You like, I'm upon this shit. I ain't giving it back. But they want to fight for this connection, but it's too late. It's over. The damage has been done. And you're bossing up. I feel like you're bouncing back. If you have a career here, it ain't going nowhere. It's very stable. They sabotage this connection. And I think I did a reading like this before for uh, a lot of y'all. But this is just confirmation that the relationship that they was trying to get into did not work out. And they got into another relationship because they felt like they was bored with you. And that's fucked up, Leo. That's real fucked up. But y'all done bombed out motherfucking calm. Y'all broke up with this person before they could leave you for this third party. Now that's chess, not checkers, alright? You was playing chess, not checkers with this person, alright? Y'all did the bomb move. Y'all did the bomb move. You're like, y'all... <laughs> Y'all yeah, was playing chess with this person. Leo, I love y'all so much. Y'all the bomb. <laughs> Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe if you want to see more readings. If you want to see, uh, I'm going to have collective readings up here too. I'm going to do a no new love reading for y'all as well. So like, share, comment, subscribe. If you stay to the end, like this video up. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, share this video. I love you guys so, so much. For more readings, subscribe, y'all. And until next time, bye, Leo. I'll see y'all in the next reading.